So, who wants to begin a very exciting, um, historic, uh, we would say, um, really one-of-a-kind news that everybody would like to hear? Uh, yes. How about you? Uh, Mitch, yeah, go ahead. Um, I'll go ahead because I'm the one who said that this was dead in the water, right? So I am wrong that this actually went through, um, that, you know, they're actually in indicting Trump on lowest of low indictments. And so we're here. He's already, from what I understand, he's already in New York. And so all of that stuff is going to be transpiring tomorrow. And again, but, you know, my thing... I was incorrect because I didn't think they would double down on it. And obviously they did. Um, I already know I'm listening to Charlie Kirk. He was on Valuetainment early this morning and Tim Pool right now um, talking about any stuff. And he mentioned some certain things that was interesting. But one thing I do want to mention is, again, I really think this is going to backfire. I, I, I really I think that there is going to be some good that comes out of this. Obviously, this is unprecedented. Obviously, there's a bad look on 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 our politics in general that we're doing this for a president. And we know that this is politically motivated. Like, um, he's doing the exact same thing, at, like, for better or for worse, he's doing the exact same thing as uh, Bill Clinton was, right? And so if and any, if 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 hush if he was doing all of those things, it's hush money. And it's not, and the, the thing that, that ties into, and this is why I kind of want to have the audience understand, the only thing that is, if there was anything criminal, is if the hush money was tied into campaign funds. And so if it's not, if they can't prove that then there's nothing and but even if there was it's a misdemeanor it's it's a it's a fine it's a, it's a campaign fine and they're treating this as some <laughs> federal um indictment which is it, again it is this is all politically motivated so that they can slow down trump or they can um have him not um go ahead in in the presidential presidential campaigns right but already i, I saw already one article that he has raised seven million up um for this whole <laughs> indictment process so again, I really feel like this is going to like backfire him. And I know like Charlie Kirk was talking about like people don't like the overreach of the government, especially the people who did the lockdowns, the people that are in the middle, these independents that didn't want authoritative like governments. Now they're seeing what's happening to a, a former president. And this is like I said, like this is the same things that you could you could see of uh, Clintons and 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 Obama, and they're treating this as such a a, a portion so that they can knock it on Trump. And I and again, I'll pass it on to someone. But obviously, this indictment is to fuel incitement. So this is the left's way of trying to rile up the MAGA base and see if they can like get some riots out of this. And and. We have learned from Jan 6 that we cannot. Uh, we'll do it peacefully. We'll do like our protests online, uh, maybe wave some flags, but we know better. We know wh we know what's up. We know that what they're trying to do. So I'll pass it on to someone else who wants to rant. Good. <laughs> Let's hear from someone else. Um, well, you know, about, uh, uh, the, uh, one of the things probably. that they talked about too is that okay. it's not only that campaign or hush money, but they're saying that there's more than 30 items uh, thir more than 30 34 charges. 34, well, 34, 34 additional charges what yeah, yeah so what could those be and so uh we'll just have to see uh, what ha uh what those are once uh, i guess once uh once they get them in tomorrow i guess so hopefully we'll see all those charges that they're talking about yes and, this uh, is such a juicy topic um go ahead if you're not finished yet, go ahead, no, uh, uh, no, I was just going to say that uh, uh, I, you know, I, I think it's um, it's the globalist. You know, I, it's just interesting to hear uh, uh, Levine that he says his real, the real, the real folks that are really after him are the globalist people, uh, people who control the world because he is disrupting the the apple cart, I guess, for the. Uh, one world order that they're trying to create. So I think those are the Putting guys. Their plans. And, yeah, and Soros is one of them, uh, Gates. So uh, all those globalist people are the one that's, that are really concerned about this thing. So they're pouring money after money, I guess, to make this thing, to make uh, Trump go away. Go ahead, take it away. Oh, okay. <laughs> go ahead, Mitch. Yeah, um, you know, it's Holy Week, and so hopefully uh, all that um, good 
celebrations of all that stuff and an observation of Holy Week. I think it's a it is interesting that we're having Trump. I'm not saying that Trump is no savior. Jesus is Jesus. Jesus is king. But like it is interesting that um Trump is having this martyr like parallel again. Jesus, like Trump is no Jesus, but it is interesting that there is a parallel that's happening during Holy Week. And so, um, be with you all uh, during Holy Week. Uh, prayers to you all. My uh, farewell or goodbye, and we'll see you next Monday. With what Mitch had said, it's uh, two thousand years ago. Jesus Christ was arrested the very first Monday. Thursday. Is it perchance that um, a good guy, a good man who is, I believe, the hope of America is also um, going through the same, you know, time, um, Holy Week. Now, Holy Week is a very important uh, time for Christians all over the world. It's time for us to really ponder on what is really happening and let us say some prayers i'm calling all the prayer warriors all over the united states please pray for america we need that and we pray that president trump will this is just a passing thing and, it, and, and it's going to go away and and he he will god will be with him and with that we bid everybody adieu until we see you on monday Amen. Amen, Amen. 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 Amen.